Good morning, everyone. Karen McCoy here from warriorwomanfitness.com, and I am inviting Isabel into chat with me today about her um, experience in the program and just everything that came out about. So, uh, Isabel, welcome. Thank you, Karen. Good morning. <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> Um, Isabel lives on the extreme west end of uh, BC on Vancouver Island, so she is like my Westie bestie. So <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you got here. So I, I just want to start with um, asking you, you have completed the 16-week uh, Mastery Lifestyle Program for women over 40. Now you're in as an alumni. And so what I've always loved is that you show up for every call, you do all the homework. And I really wanted to dig in just to start back at the beginning and just move through to understand your experience. So tell tell everybody, what, um, how did you find the program and what were your assumptions? Um. Well, I accidentally found the program. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wasn't looking for it, um, but I got curious about it. Um, so I found you on Facebook and a friend of mine had pressed like. So the first thing I did was message her and say, hey, why do you like this woman? Like, she's like, I don't never took in a program with her. So I don't really know. I just kind of like what I've seen. I'm like, oh, OK, thank you. So I decided to book a call with you and we had a chat. And um, you piqued my curiosity because you're like, if you want a workout or a meal plan, you could get that anywhere else. And I'm like, OK, this woman's offering me something different here. There's something about this program that's different. So um, we kind of went on from that talk. I decided to join. And I'm so, so extremely thankful. I, and I, I still remember I'm getting shiveries thinking about it right now because it was one of the best decisions in this phase of my life that I've taken for myself. Wow. Wow. That's huge. So yeah. let's talk your body goals because you probably came in thinking you wanted a certain place in your body transformation. Can you tell, tell us about that? Absolutely. So uh, I think I could speak for most of us who doesn't want to lose weight. Uh -huh. um, and I really liked your body shape. I'm someone who loves an athletic body. I love muscle. And my goal is to, to get toned and to get lean, but in a healthier way. That was my goal. But this program gave me 10 times more than I even expected. Okay, it, it went well, beyond my goal. Let, let's go into that because as you know, um, the big piece of what we need to do first and foremost and along the way is, is the mindset work. So were you surprised about the mindset work and, and looking at your self-limiting beliefs or what did you first feel when I said, okay, we're gonna do a great workout plan here. We're gonna do a food plan for you. It's gonna be customized for you. And then we went into mindset. So what were your first thoughts around that? Well, to be honest, I was actually, I was quite surprised with the mindset and the depth of the questions. You need to be ready to really dig deep. And like you said, get out of here, get into the heart, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we're not programmed that way. So it was a lot of going against the grain a little bit at the beginning. It was tough. I needed to go. I spent hours, I'll be honest. I spent hours answering those questions because I wanted to invest in this program fully. So that meant being true to myself. And did I really know who I was? Right. I, I was always question. identified as I'm a wife. I'm a mother. Who am mm -hmm. I in this season of my life in this life where we're empty nest and mm -hmm. it's a beautiful season. But so, yes, I was. But am I thankful for it? Yes. Was it challenging? Yes. But the freedom that came from it um, is great. Was it hurtful and painful at times? Yes. But the program learns, teaches us how to deal with it. You know, you grab it, claim it acknowledge it name it and then we relieve it and then and then yes I stumbled against you know through the program and that was also okay and I was fighting against stumbling right about remember there's a stage there that I'm like but I'm not moving forward I need to be at this level right now and I think that was all part of my journey the growth that it's okay to stumble yeah I, yeah I do remember you stumbling and you know that's when we also re-looked at your archetypes that were revisiting you like the perfectionist <laughs> the all or nothing right um and those are really important to befriend as well 
And what I love about your journey is that there were so many roadblocks along the way that you began to look at as it's not a roadblock. It's not stopping me in my tracks. It is actually something I can move into to expand. And a lot of people look at what you said about getting uncomfortable and, and having to do some deep work as, oh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. And so it's absolutely necessary in any part of our life, is it not, to be able to grow into the best career, the best relationship, the best body, the best life. And what I love about what you just said was that there was freedom for you, right? Absolutely. And like you just, I'm just going to repeat what you just said. This program is not just about weight loss and food, but it could be applied. And you said that from the beginning to your business, to your job, to your friendship, relationship, your like everything. What we're learning, the mindset could be applied in every area of our life. And that's what's beautiful about this. We're not just buying a weight loss package or a fitness package. And when I say that, I mean, we get three amazing coaches. Like, mm -hmm. And another thing that stands out, I just wanted to touch base. And I'm not sure if I'm jumping the, the gun here on this. I'm not alone in this process. I'm with a group of women that is going through it. Our struggles may be all different, but we are able to share together and grow from each other and encourage each other. I mean, that alone, that mm -hmm. ecosystem of women with the mindset going the right way is what's keeping me as an alumni. I need this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, and I love that for sure. Yeah. So, um, and that's why I kind of grew the alumni just to say, okay, just, you know, it's a holding tank, hang out because you've learned the lessons, right? But as you know, I've always said, um, from knowing and doing are two very different things. So we know, we've read the self-help book, we know, but in the application is where all the growth is. And so you take what you've learned here, go out into the world, you you play with it a little bit, then you come back. And what I love about <laughs> you, Isabella, is that you showed up for every, every weekly call, you had your questions, and I could just see you moving through stuff because that's the other piece. In order for this... Uh, level of, of program to work at the depth that it does it ripples out to all aspects of your life you need to show up right you you need to show up and you showed up for everything your homework pieces came in you might have stalled a bit on the homework pieces but I knew it was because you were considering and massaging and working through it right and so just speak to the showing up piece and it's not just showing up, it's showing up. <laughs> exactly. We mentioned about this. It's being, if I'm investing myself in this program, this is my personality. It's all in. Mm -hmm. If I'm committing to this and I want this to succeed and I want to see progress. And again, it's not the destination. It's the journey, which I learned to love through this program. Um, I need to show up. I need to do the work. I can't expect anything to work whether mm -hmm. anything in life, really, if you're not putting the action in it. Now, for myself, I am someone, yes, I'm going to go back to that archetype of perfectionist, which I've learned to as well to move through it and to accept it and move on. I need to digest. I need to understand. And sometimes you're like, stop saying the 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 how, right? Just Just get through it. And, you know, I don't know how that works, but it works. Yeah, yeah. Just for sure. work through it. And I could come back later. Then it's like, it's still here. And that's like, oh, this makes sense. I could apply it. And Right, right, right. So as you go into the lessons and revisit, you're kind of coming from deeper learning all the time, right? I always say that what we learn is not linear. It, I see it more like a, like a flower that opens up and you go deeper into, into the flower. That's the way I, I see this work. And that's why um, after the program is done in 16 weeks, I don't want you going back out into mainstream because we still need to nurture and grow those roots super deep in our learning so that we are ready to go out there and we have a new skill set and a new toolkit that we learn in the program to be able to then manage what's going on out there. So so, so do tell, tell everybody how... How did you see the changes in your body as well? Because I know they're asking, okay, but what about the body? What about the training? You really moved into the training and, and the body changes that you've seen. Well, 
today, I could say that I've learned to let go of my scale obsession. And hey. we've talked about this. I was so focused when I started the program on a certain weight. And that focus was the wrong direction because it would make my, I was an emotional roller coaster. If I, I thought I was like, wow, I feel thin and I weigh and I'm like, but I'm two pounds up. And I'm like, what am I doing? Right. So that was totally the wrong focus. And since we've had a talk towards the end of the program too, and I've put that scale mentality aside, I've learned that what's more important is not that number, but the body transformation. I am looking for a certain look of a body. I'm wanting a sculpt tone look. I want to be strong. I love being strong. I love looking a little bit more on the strong side, I guess. I don't want to say muscular because it scares Shapely, people away, nice but I love shape, muscle. Right? Yeah. 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 And I'm very thankful. So I love my workouts because I love, I've been seeing like changes all here and in my muscles and I just, it's beautiful. Yeah. And I'm, I'm learning to feel like, oh, my shirt's feeling a little thin. The scale does not need to tell me this. So now I'm going through this program with feeding my body, body more on a cellular base. What's going to help me recover? What's going to help me have strength for my next workout? What's going to help me feel better throughout the day? And as I'm applying and making those choices, daily choices, moment choices, and doing my workouts, doing the workouts, um, it's just happening. The changes mm -hmm. are there. And I'm thankful. Am I where I want to be? No. But you know what? I've got a goal. My mindset is there. I'm excited to get there, but I'm also enjoying it. I don't want to rush the process because it took this many years to get where I am. It's not going to come out overnight, like come off overnight, mm -hmm. but I am loving, like you offer so many different workout programs. I'm a at home girl. I work out at home. Most of the girls work at the gym and that's okay. This, you offer all types of programs, gym workouts, home workout, a blend of them. And that's what I like about it. And another thing too, about the diets, you're not giving us a specific diet that you're not saying you need to eliminate this, eliminate this. You can, we came in with, you need to add this, which is kind of nice. It doesn't feel restrictive as other diets. And for me, it feels like this is something I could sustain for the rest of my life. It's making mm -hmm. wholesome choices with wholesome food and just more. We taught you learned us about portions and proportions and timing and metabolism and that's the key I think to this program as well it's just mm -hmm. all of that together yeah I'm learning also to to um age well right because I always say that when we're learning to age well and live well uh we naturally have a body that is living in homeostasis it keeps the the fat away or if we have it it will allow the body to drop the fat. And, and so the other part about the mindset is if you're all stressed and challenged around life and what's happening and we all, I mean, you know this, I keep saying this, we all have stories, we all have a past, yeah. but we don't want the stories living us, right? And so that's a big piece is just giving the brain a break and the body a break from a lot of the negativity because when we can, it doesn't mean we can just get, let go of the past or let go of yeah. the, the things that bother us in the present, but we need to reframe it because we don't make things wrong. If we make things wrong, we are living in resistance and we need to uh, master our mindset. So, and that's the cognitive restructuring where we're actually rewiring our brain, right? And um, I just want to touch on this because when you first came in, we did that big beliefs detox. So yes. that's it. What, what was that like for you? Because that kind of, uh, you know, that's we always have to start there because unless you can believe this is possible and that you're worthy of this and that failure is not failure, it's actually feedback, then those are the pieces that we have to nurture first. So what was the beliefs detox like for you? Because it's quite an exercise. It, it is quite an exercise. Um, Quite a few of those first ones are very deep. Mm -hmm. But it, get, it gave me a baseline. And I loved how we were asking, like, what are your beliefs around this and that? And do we ever stop really in daily life to think about that? We run on such a remote state. And I think this program helps us to slow down and look. And we're not like, not to say victimhood. We're not looking back to find blame or anything. We're just looking back to maybe recognize where these beliefs came from. And then we reformat these, these beliefs. And that's, it takes time because, you know, for almost 50 years of my life, I've been doing a certain way, but mm -hmm. now the new me 
now that I have new beliefs, um, and I've been on the mountaintop a little bit, and I, I do fall, but that's okay, because I want to go back up. Um, that's going to be part of my journey. And that's like period in itself. You learn and you grow and you learn and you experiment. And the belief was deep. And I think it is one of, and I'm glad you start the module with that. Because I think it is the key principle of this program. If you don't work, if you don't do your homework, I would say with anybody joining or doing that, take the time. I don't care if it takes you more than a week or two, really take the time to, to be true to self. You know, Karen, you always say, just go quiet your mind, go into a room. And sometimes they can't because we we don't understand. It's almost blocked because our mind doesn't want to let us go there. But as we, we start going, it's like almost then other things bubble up to the surface. And now that I've done the work and maybe I've dealt with these, now maybe other old beliefs are coming up because I've given that room to grow. So mm -hmm. those beliefs, I think, is it's something that we should always have at the back of our mind. Is this true? Is this real? Is this worth it? And then you go into your chart there, that chart of an, oh, I don't remember what it's called. The map power. of consciousness. Yeah. Map of consciousness. Yes. Yeah. The map of consciousness. And I think once we really, at first, when you show, start showing them, like, what is she talking about? What is this stuff? It's so <laughs> weird. But now it's like, it comes. Okay. I'm down here. Whoops. I need to go up here. It's like, it's like imprinted in my mind. Maybe not the title of it, but the yeah, map yeah. itself. Yeah. Um, so I do, I would say that was a big thing exploring where do these things come from? Why am I believing that? And like you said, don't wait to love yourself until you get there, love yourself now and the rest will come, but that it is a hard is habit to break, but yeah. through your course, through the women, through the coaches, we get to through it together. Yeah, yeah. Because this really is a return to self, coming back into loving self, honoring self, and knowing that we're worthy. Because if we don't have those basic tenets in place, no matter what perfect workout or perfect food plan or any goal to lose the weight or reshape, whatever it happens to be, it's not going to stick. We need to make this stick. And so um, it's also about the, the food is important because you're nurturing your body with the food instead of looking at it like it's restrictive. I can't have this. I can't have that. Um, it, it's it, we can't beat ourselves up into good health. We have to love ourselves into good health. And so that's what I love about this program. And what I recognize is the women that are coming on the call for the last few years, because um, I do the, the 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 complimentary calls, as you know, that's how you came into me. Um, they are, yes, they first think I want a body transformation. I, you know, I want, I'm not aging well. I'm not feeling good. I want to get my body back. I want to get the weight down. And all of that is, is definitely of value for sure. Cause we want a kick ass body and we want a great relationship with food and we want to age well, and we want to look good and feel good. That's, that's really important. But the other piece that I see is there's this awakening happening. There's this rise in consciousness and and this is happening in women in their 40s and 50s and 60s i didn't have it in my 20s and 30s so that's why i'm for you know work with aging women because i know what they're what they're moving through but they just they can't see their own blind spot they don't know what they don't know but what's coming forward is they're saying yeah i want this great body and i want to age well but there's something else there there's a, a gnawing at them to say why am I here? What do I need to shift? What can I let go of? I'm tired of living this way. Is there another way? What is my purpose? And how can I move forward in bliss and ease in a healthy body and a healthy mindset? And you came in, I remember with our call, you came in as well saying, I want to be this weight and I want to have this body, right? Which is important. And you had your sticking point with the weight too. Remember, you'd go yeah, down yeah. and there's that sticking point. And yeah. we worked through that and, and you got you got below it. But yeah. it really is about the whole kit and caboodle, right? And so have you found a different relationship with yourself? Absolutely. Um, again, I'm, I can't stop saying how much of a blessing this program has been for me. I, I'm not just... Karen, it has changed me so much. I have been thankful and joyful for this program and for the ladies and for the coaches. And I'll tell you why. When I first heard the word empowered women or empowerment, I'm like, oh my God, I do not like that word. That scares me. But 
today, I feel so empowered and I'm proud to say so. Um, it's given me some self-confidence, some putting myself first, caring for myself, loving myself, loving myself, being gentle with myself, being gracious with myself and saying, it's okay. I don't have to be perfect. And I learned that through your program. And I, I, I wish I was like this 20 years ago. I'll be honest. The mm -hmm. confidence I come with in regards to relationship and just about, I don't know what it is with us women. Why sometimes we always often put ourselves on the back seat, on the back burner for a while. And we care for everybody else. Um, when really they always say, you know, if a, an airplane crashes, you put your mask first before you help someone else. That's what this program is about. It's about putting yourself first, not in a selfish way at all, but in a way that you love yourself so much that you know by loving yourself and caring for yourself, you'll be putting more out into the world, more into your family and relationship and work because it's going to come from a place of joy and bliss. Mm -hmm. And that's what this program offers. That's for mm -hmm. me, the growth has been. Oh, and I, I could go on forever. Like you're teaching us about the gratitudes, right? Doing our gratitudes in the morning and our our whether it's affirmation and our hug or loving ourselves it's yeah at first I'm like oh this is a little strange I'll be honest yeah. but, you know <laughs> you take from it you 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 have to kind of grab things from it and grow from it and then add to it as we go so yes yeah. this program has transformed me a lot I bet you talk to my husband and you'll say the same you'll yeah. talk to other people and they'll be like you know I've always been a very joyful person but then now there's a little bit more confidence empowerment and belief in self, belief in self yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, which which was always there. You always, we always have all those things. It just takes a strategy in order to move you through something to allow you to acknowledge and accept and feel it, right? And what I love about, um, you know, as women move through the program and they stay on, you know, at no obligation, just stay on as an alumni and uh, continue to do the work and show up for the calls. You now act as a mentor for women coming into and moving through the program. And we've got a bunch of you alumni who do that. And I think that is worth its weight in gold because you started way back there many, many months ago, and now you've moved through and others are looking up to you and the other alumni and it fast tracks their process and their journey as well. And they have a level of depth that they wouldn't have gotten otherwise. And you just can't get this if you, you know, if you do it on your own, this stuff can't, you just can't do it on your own. And it needs um, leadership and mentorship and that like you say that ecosystem of other women moving through along the same path they all have different experiences and different challenges but we all want the same thing we want self-love we want health we want a great physique we want to be able to age well and we want to um, live well into our future years as well in a rock and body, great relationship with food, living at, like you say, the map of consciousness, the higher levels of bliss and joy and ease and self-love. And that ripples out into everybody and everything in our world. So it's like one-stop shopping. <laughs> you know, and I think having the alumni speaks highly of this program. Put it this way, Karen, like I love, like I'm just a new alumni now. But I look at some of the women that have been with you for years. And to me, that just shows how great your program. They're still sticking yeah. around. And I like, you're right. When I was just doing the program, I was looking. I was happy to be on the call when those alumni were. And I'm like, whoa, I'm with the alumni, right? Yeah. Like, I looked up to them and still to this day because they'll always be ahead of me. So it's like these women that went on that journey and like took the cobwebs away before I get through it. So yeah, and your program, you keep redefining your program and tweaking it making it better so i yeah i've got nothing but good and thankfulness and can wow. i just add something yes i love that something that surprised me is all the reading we do like you don't tell us that we're going to do all this reading well we don't have to it's optional but for mm -hmm. someone who loves to read you you give us so many resources mm -hmm. and here's another thing you've always said stay away from the noise this program offers us in a nutshell everything we need we don't need to be Googling different things or looking at different avenues or listening. Once you're in this program, this is what I've loved. I stayed with this program. I don't need to research anywhere else. It has everything I need plus some. That's will, what I love about this program. And will the lessons carry you for the next 30 or 40 years? 
on the planet. Absolutely. I I think they're going to carry me for the rest of my days. Like what mm-hmm. I've learned, I've learned. I think if you've put the work and truly let it, you felt it. Because mm-hmm. this is something, do I have a long way to go still? Absolutely. Um, But I'm looking forward to going back now through my lessons and working through it again and just. Beautiful. And being part of the calls again. I love being part of the weekly calls. Yeah. I look mm-hmm. forward to those. Yeah, I look forward to them as well. And um, it, it's a huge part of what we do, of course. And um, I, I just love the coaching piece. That's that's my jam, man. I love it. Um, anything else to add before I let you go? Well, I would say if anybody's out there on a the call and is thinking about it, don't hesitate. Take the leap. Take the leap. Um, it's the best leap I've ever done. And as I say that again, the little shivers go... <laughs> The best decision in my life was to take this leap and take this program. It is different than the other programs. I've tried other ones. Um, who hasn't tried other ones, really? We're here because so many have failed. This is not failing. There's a reason I'm sticking around. And I'm not the only one saying this. We have a group of women. We have a beautiful support. I, I You yeah. give us resources almost every day, Karen. Like, you're always there, like... You're active. You're not just a program that we buy that we have to go to. You're day in, day out, taking care of your troop, of your women. And I thank you for that. And I thank every woman part of this group sharing. And Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, love you. Thank you so much. Um, what a pleasure. And what a pleasure to have you in this program and um, the other women that are in here. I am just so blessed and thankful I get to do this work, really, and to have uh, you gorgeous women along for the journey with me. Cause like I say, I'm not the guru on top, top man. I am walking alongside you because <laughs> I've moved through everything that everybody has to move through as a female on this planet. And it is challenging. It's a challenging world and, and life has its challenges and it's constant stresses. And so, uh, you know, I had to learn it and I'm thankful I'm able to share that um, 60 plus journey, <laughs> dare I say, with all of you proudly guys. say it Karen <laughs> proudly say it <laughs> and Whoa. just to say and that's the thing you've had your experience you're a real woman you've had your challenges and you share that freely mm-hmm. and I think that makes us feel we don't need to be perfect to join this program we don't have to be a certain way we joined this program because we need help that's mm-hmm. what it comes down to mm-hmm. yep women inspiring women right well thank yes. you Isabel I thank love you, you my darling Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, blessings to you. And again, so thankful that you came along when you did. And uh, let's just keep rocking it. Okay. Let's do that. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, my friend. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.